welcome to lavanya's computer classes in this video i will explain decision tree classification algorithm that is in machine learning so in the machine learning what is decision tree how it is working i will explain in this video so first what is decision tree means so decision tree is a supervised learning technique actually you have uh, in the machine learning there are two types of uh, learning algorithms are there three types are there one is the supervised second one is unsupervised and third one is the reinforced algorithms so in this supervised learning algorithm there are two types are there one is the classification and second one is the regression so first of all decision tree is an example for supervised learning technique in this supervised learning technique again there are two different types of techniques are there one is the classification algorithm second one is the regression algorithms both are belongs to supervised learning algorithm decision tree is <coughs> an example for both classification and also regression technique so decision tree can be used in any one of the algorithm but it is mostly preferred for solving classification problems so decision tree can be used either for regression technique or classification technique but mostly are used for classification problems okay now what is a decision tree in the name only it is there it is like a tree structured classifier algorithm it is divided into classification either may be true or false it is divided it is uh, depends upon the classification depends upon the decisions it will be de classified into so many categories so it is looks like a tree structure diagram already we know in the data structure what is a tree means tree is the combination of nodes so here internal nodes are there and branches also there so what is the use of internal nodes means internal nodes represents features of a data set what are the data we have all the data is represented like an internal nodes what are the branches means decision rules because decision tree is a classification classification means depends upon the some decisions how it is classified into either this category or that category so how can you divided how can you classify it means we need some rules those decision rules are called as branches okay now in this we already we said decision tree is a tree structure diagram in the tree structure diagram means we have collection of nodes so all the nodes are divided into two types so in the decision tree there are two different types of nodes are there one is the decision node second one is the leaf node so what is the meaning of decision node decision node is used to make any decision and have multiple branches so decision nodes means it is like a root node that root node it is used for making the decision depending upon the decision you have multiple branches okay i will explain with an example next so what is the second node the second node is called as leaf node leaf node is the final output of those decisions after taking the decision depends upon the decision you have to select any one of the um, decision so that is a final output the final output is represented like a leaf node and it does not contain any branches it is a final there is no other alternative there is no other branches so that is called as leaf node so how we represent which symbols are used for decision nodes means this is the decision node this is decision node is represented with a square uh, square box and uh, rectangle decision node is used with uh, rectangle box and leaf node is like ellipse these two symbols are used for decision trees so this is the decision node decision node means it is a it is used for making some decision depending upon the decision either we go this side or this side yes or no again if it is again a decision node so that's why you are using rectangle boxes depends upon the decision nodes either it is a final output final output means it is called as leaf node that means there is no other branches leaf node is represented with a ellipse and here also one more leaf node it is also represented with a ellipse so the entire thing is called as a subtree this is the tree again its subpart is called as a subtree similarly here also it is a decision node depends upon the decision node either it may be a leaf node that means it is a final output otherwise you want to take one more decision means again the decision contains number of leaf nodes so this is the just diagram of decision trees okay now i will explain 
what are the decision tree terminologies terminologies means which words which keywords are used in the decision tree what are the decision tree terminologies means every tree has a root node so what is the root node means where the decision tree starts or whether any subtree the subtree is also part, first part will be called as a root node the root node is always represented with a rectangle box second one is the leaf node what is the leaf node after taking the decision which one is the final result the final output is called as a leaf node it is represented with a ellipse next splitting splitting is also a keyword in the decision tree what is the splitting means it is the process of dividing the root into sub nodes already have explained the diagram this is called as splitting the decision is divided into sub parts that is called as a splitting parent or child node so which one is called as a parent node means the root is called as a parent node other than root node remaining all nodes are called as children nodes pruning what is a pruning means it is a process of removing unwanted branches you don't want more branches you want to removing the branches that is called as a pruning so these are the some key terminology in decision tree now entire decision tree i will explain with a example so this is the example of a decision tree example is the candidate <coughs> who has a job offer one person got the job offer but we don't know the job, the candidate is accepted the offer or not if you want the person is accepting the offer means you have some conditions are there so here the question is the candidate who has a job offer and wants to check whether he should accept the offer letter or not how is the offer letter are marked I name mean, it some criteria are there first one the candidate has an offer with the salary is between 50000 and 80000 if the salary offer letter got the salary with 50000 to 80000 I mean there is two options are there so this is the condition after depending upon the condition there are two choices are there either yes or no when he said yes well yes the salary is between 50000 to 80000 if the salary is less than 50000 that means no without any second idea just decline the offer decline the offer means there is no other options that's why it is called as leaf node this is the leaf node these are the decision nodes is it clear so if you just if the salary is not between 50 and 1000 there is without any second thought you just rejecting the offer so that's why it is no if it is a salary is between 50 and 80000 then go to yes there is a choice is there accepting the offer yes and again he is asking one more question office is near to your home or not where the office location he is asking he is thinking about the location of the office also it is either near to home or it is far if it is yes if it is very far to your house no that means it is not near to your home then just decline the offer this is the final output the salary is between 50 and 80000 yes but the office is not near to your office then what happen means uh, just decline the offer it is near to office also then we have one more idea one more criteria what is the criteria means the office provides the cab either yes or no if the office is not provide the cab then also is not accepting the offer just decline that one so this is a final outputs the final outputs is uh, represented with a ellipse it is provide the office then is accepted the uh, letter so i uh, accepted the offer letter so it is also final output accepted so that's why it is also used with a so ellipse so this is an example for decision tree decision tree means depends upon the decision we are classified according to the decision rule we just classified yes sir no so this is an example for decision tree thank you for watching my video In the next video i will explain some more example for decision tree algorithms thank you